I didn't think. I was just like, I just wanted a space to do my paintings. I didn't really rationalize how this is going to work out. It's final Friday here in Cincinnati, and that means a lot of visual arts galleries are holding opening night receptions for exhibitions, many of them with local artists, such as Richard Butts Design Studio. It's brand new here in Over the Rhine, just been here for three months. We're going to meet Richard Butts, talk about his conversion from architect to gallery proprietor, and also meet John Paul Smith. He's a printmaker doing some really interesting pop culture work. I'm Matt Pikin, and all this tonight on WCPO Digital's Rocket Queen. Three months ago was my first final Friday. Concurrently with that, I kind of introduced myself to John Paul. I loved his work. I, I thought he'd be a good fit. I'm an architect interior designer, and things were slow in that field, so I started painting more, and uh, this was my studio, and then the studio developed into a gallery. I'm really torn. Do I want to be a painter? Do I want to be a gallerist? A lot of to me is just how the imagery of advertising is actually portrayed to us. Uh, it is kind of confusing to me. I mean, when we're driving down the street, I can be reading a magazine while looking at a billboard, while looking at a display in a window. So it, it is this overlaying of, of imagery that affects us every day. I mean, the things, you know, we're bombarded with products and just conversations and people. I mean, so that's, that's kind of why... Uh, the overlapping of images to fill as much information I can as in a, in a limited space. The first step in the process is just collection. Uh, you know, I think my my house is a warehouse with stacked piles. I put weights on of boxes or newspapers or magazines, and I have a lot of different people that will supply me with things. I would say probably about three and a half to four months from just collecting the paper. I did an artist residency in Budapest, and that's when I found found materials. I had to pick up a lot of my materials off the streets and. Was, was interested in just uh, the paper ephemera of life you find around us, how we all kind of hold on to ticket stubs, or just a way of kind of chronicling that. So I began cutting and weaving those. I try to make my work be more open narrative, where people can find their own interest within my work, whether it's imagery they see cut up or just experience, experiencing it from a color base. So I don't really try to make definitive statements within my art. Uh, I really try to allow the viewer to have their own experience. Sometimes I don't worry about w where it's going necessarily, just kind of uh, hoping there's an, a, a plan at the end as I, you know, just battle every day in that studio.